Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing on with our discussion of verb tenses. And remember, in our sketch notes, this is the definition that we're using that we're saying that different verb tenses are used to convey or to show various times, sequences, states, and conditions. Now, in the previous video, we looked at simple tense. So simple past, simple present, simple future. And our, so our sketch notes at this point should look something like this that our simple past means that something has already occurred in the past. And a simple sentence would be, Ty visited K yesterday. Uh, and I left the simple sentences blank because there were a few different uh, examples within the video, or you could come up with your own. So past simple, present simple is occurring in the present right now, like Ty visits K. And then future simple, is something that will occur in the future. And we know that because it has the helping verb of will, like Ty will visit K tomorrow. Past simple, Ty visited K yesterday. Present simple, Ty visits K. Future simple, Ty will visit K tomorrow. Now today we're gonna to be looking at the progressive verbs. So past, present, future, but past progressive, present progressive, and future progressive. Again, we're looking for when this is happening as well as a sample sentence for each one. By the time we're done with these three videos, this entire thing should be filled out and we will be ready to uh, show how much we've learned. So for the progressive verb tenses, those show an ongoing action. Like whereas Ty visited K, it happened, and then it was over. But progressive tense means that something that is happening, it's over a, um, a period of time. It's something that is ongoing. And it's something that started, for, for instance, in the past, something that started, but kept on going. And it shows an action is still in progress. And the verbs that will show will be ending in ing. So walking, jumping running. So again, these are progressive verbs. And we show that it's something that was an ongoing action using ing verbs like walking, jumping, running, thinking, singing, looking. So again, this is something, if it's happening in the past, a past progressive tense shows an ongoing action that took place in the past. So something that happened in the past, but it was ongoing. For instance, uh, you form this verb tense by using the to be verb, like was or were. So the past tense of to be plus an ing verb. So Ben was talking to you. So it was something that was ongoing in the past. Ben, so we see our past tense of to be was and then because ben is singular ben was what was he doing he was talking to you they were talking to you since they is a plural pronoun we use a plural verb to of to be which is were so you're going to use was or were plus an ing verb so present progressive shows an ongoing action that is taking place right now. And the way that we recognize present progressive, it is going to be the U form of the verb to be either I am, is, like am, am, is, or are, plus an ing verb. So past progressive was was or were plus ing, Present progressive, am, is, are, plus an ing verb. I am talking to you. Ben is talking to you. So this is something that is happening right now. Right now, we are experiencing a present progressive because I am sitting here talking to you. But if you are watching this video in the future, then I was talking to you. I was talking to the computer. Since you're watching the video, it seems like I am talking to you. So something that happened in the past over a period of time, 
present progressive, something that is happening right now, but it is taking place over a period of time. They are talking to you. And then you guessed it, future progressive shows an ongoing action that is going to happen. So you are going to be, to be watching this video in the future. So you will be using, you will be watching, you will be listening, I will be talking. So past tense used was or were plus ing. Present progressive am, is, are, and an ing. And then future progressive will be plus ing. I will be talking to you. Ben will be talking to you. They will be talking to you. And notice I and Ben are both singular. They is plural, but it doesn't matter. For future progressive, you use will be plus an ing verb. So at this point, Ty was visiting K yesterday. Ty is visiting K right now. And then Ty will be visiting K tomorrow. So, so far we have our chart two thirds of the way filled out. So what you can do right now is go back into the video, write down the past progressive, present progressive and future progressive when it is happening. So occurred in the past over a period of time is occurring right now over a period of time and an ongoing action that will happen in the future. So it's was or were plus ing. Am is are plus ing will be plus ing. All right, next time we are going to be looking at past, present, and future perfect tense. Dun, dun, dun.